Hello everyone, welcome to External Star Channel. My name is Marek, as you already know, and today, finally, after two years of waiting, I will be unboxing this, hopefully beautiful, uh, Skoda Kodiak. Yeah, a car which I am driving in real life. And that's why I was looking for this one almost two years and now it's finally here on my table. Not exactly the same color, yeah, as you can see this one is a golden color, probably golden or brown. Mine is blue. And for those of you who really watch all my videos, you already know that I'm driving this car. But now, uh, finally, I will have a chance to unbox it and review it. And later next year, also repaint it. All right, so I think it's only time to start the review. Oh, sorry, the unboxing first. So I will now carefully remove it out of the box. <clears throat> That's the very first thing I will do today. And by the way, here it's all Chinese, you see, so I don't understand anything. Uh, there is a picture here, but that's it on the box. Uh, you don't see anything else, only some Chinese here. And you don't even know, ah, here, the manufacturer is Shanghai Dazong Gifts. Shanghai Dazong Gifts, okay? Okay, good. So, and I will tell you now why it was so problematic to get this model. Uh, actually, the license for those models is given only for uh, resellers in China, but if you want to sell this in Europe, you don't have the license yet. There are only some licensed resellers, but they don't have it available. So it was kind of problematic because I know that the custom officers, sometimes they destroy this model because it's not licensed in Europe. Even if the car itself in one to one is produced in Europe, in the Czech Republic, actually, and that's why it was a little bit difficult to get it. But now, finally, I should have it in my collection. You know, the car that I have. And maybe most of you, you want to also have your real car also in your 1 to 18 collection. And this is why I will now unbox this one. Good. So, I like this styrofoam box. And actually, there is... a. Uh, one additional layer that I need to cut. It's here, this tape. And I don't know what's the best way to do it. Probably doing a cut here. And then try to remove it. You see, I, I didn't manage to really do it everywhere. So one more attempt to do it around. Okay, now I was actually more successful, okay? And now Guys, for the first time in history, I am uh, removing this cover. Oh, wow. I think I will need to do a little bit more surgery here because <laughs> as you can see it, there are many towels in there. And yeah, luckily there are no screws. So I will just take it out. <laughs> so many towels. I like this uh, reseller or this uh, seller on eBay, uh, which is always packing it so carefully. <laughs> and actually there are no problems with the delivery. Yeah? So always like uh, a week or maximum two and I have it. And oh wow, they are exactly the same wheels as on my real one. Okay, so but now I will just clean it here a bit. Uh, today I'm actually enjoying myself. This is why I'm also drinking some beer. Yeah, this uh, video is not for kids. Okay, so now 
as you know, all the models that I collect are 14 years and plus. Yeah, so if you are below 14, you should not collect those toy cars. And even if you watch my videos, you should be careful. Yeah, sometimes there could be some nasty language, which I'm trying to avoid, but sometimes it could happen. So now I'm actually cutting here with my knife and actually maybe I can just, you know, use my hands to really... It's packed really carefully, I must say. Now the towels and voila here it is oi, 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 oi. I already see some issues oi, 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 oi. Oi, oi, oh no oh, oh la 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 you know this model it was only like oh la 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 so many issues here Oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh God, oh God. I know, I see so many issues. Okay, so that's my first impression is not that good, yeah? This model was like, I don't know, uh, $100, uh, maybe a slightly below, yeah, maybe $80, but the expectation was quite high. I already have this Skoda Superb, which was actually my previous car as well. And, oh, 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 oh. okay, so <laughs> let me just show you why I'm so frustrated already. Can you see this panel gap here? This gap between the doors, yeah? So here, amazingly huge, amazingly. Here the same, the same here, yeah? So, <laughs> and on the other side, it's even worse. Look at it here. This gap, this is a huge, enormous, I think the biggest gap that I have ever seen when reviewing. I reviewed like 100, maybe 200 models, but this one, the gap is maybe the biggest here. Second issue I can already tell you here. Here, look at the glass here. Yeah, so here it's somehow not fully pushed in. Like on, on this side, this is okay here, but on the other side, it's not okay. And then there is something wrong with the wheels, actually. Look at how they, you know, they are not somehow very well... Maybe it was destroyed during the transport a bit. Oh, okay, so I think I need to start the review now already. I should stop complaining because there are definitely some nice parts and I know this car very well from my real life so I will just actually I have a scout version yeah this is a regular version not scout and actually if you see here this front grille is quite fine I mean the headlights they look also amazing here this Kodiak, the license plate, of course I will need to change that license plate with my custom one, the same that I have on my real car, to also change the paint, but this paint is actually quite nice. I like it because it's metallic and the particle, the metallic particles, they are so tiny, it really looks, I think the paint is one of the greatest things about this model. Of course, also the wheels. I have the same wheels, 19 inch wheels, and they look really awesome also in real life. Maybe one day I will show you my real car. Uh, just, you know, maybe I will do a review of one to one car one day. Uh, who knows? And here, something is wrong with this, with this wheel or look at how this is like shifting here, there and back, there and back. No, something is wrong. Terribly wrong, but okay. Maybe the suspension. Let's test it. Okay, maybe. Wow, look at it. The suspension is like working only on one side. 
here, but on the other side it's somehow blocked. Something is wrong here on this side with the suspension. In the in the back, suspension is working, and thanks God there is suspension. I like it. Okay, so from the side, really, if there is this feature, you can actually fold unfold the mirrors. Very nice feature. Once again. And then, what you can of course do is, uh, huh, yeah, so here are the doors. This is a uh, full uh, die cast metal, uh, zinc, yeah, and then here you have those door handles, they are plastic, and later we will open it, of course. In the back, in the back, again this license plate with some Chinese, and here it says TSI 384x4. I also have a TSI, but 2.0 liters, also 4x4, but I have this skull version, so here, somewhere, actually, can you see here this Kodiak? Instead of this, I have the Scout logo, and I'm not sure if any of them have Kodiak here, yeah, it, it, said, it should say Scout, or something else, something else, maybe also they have Laurin and Clement somewhere here. It's also possible. Yeah, for those who are watching and are from the United States, you have probably never heard of this car, and that's perfectly fine. So in the back, I said everything is quite beautiful, except of the gaps. Again, here, uh, the tail lights they have this huge gap here. Other than that, they are quite fine. Okay, so before I open it, let me also show you here. Uh, okay, so as I said, working suspension here oh it's not not really traditional how they do it look at that so this this whole part is moving in the front however the wheels i would need to tighten them a bit maybe when i uh, assemble it again once i paint it i will need to really make more attention to all the details this car also has a sunroof which I don't have on my reel, yeah? it was some extra extra cost which I couldn't afford. But maybe, let me use this door opening tool to show you, wow. That's nice, look at that. <laughs> this is a nice feature, yeah, maybe I should also consider this in some of my future reel cars, that's... But honestly, do you really open it that often? Is it worth it? I don't think so. Okay, so now let's let's close it, and now finally I will. Oh, look at this! The wheel, ah, the sound it makes. Can you see, can you hear the sound? Not really good. But now let's open it already. First, the hood, and to show you what is actually here. So now, when I'm showing you the hood, um, maybe you realize this is the TSI engine, as I already said. You can change the fluid here and everything. Yeah, it's not that bad. You have some details, not all of them, but it's like 5 out of 10 for, for the engine compartment. Yeah, there are some details. It's not one piece, there are multiple colors. It's, it's not that bad, yeah? And this is the turbo here and everything, okay? Good, so that's, that's the engine. Now... Now here... The trunk... Mm -hmm. Oh God! This is the 7 seat version. I actually have only the 5 seat version. Because here, if you have the third row, there is not that much space left available for your luggage. But at least here in the model you have carpeting. Something I don't have. In my real one I have just rubber here. It's more practical to have just rubber instead of carpeting, unless you are transporting just some champagne. Which I'm not doing, I'm also transporting bricks or <laughs> stuff like that, you know, so I prefer rubber. And then I will also open all the doors for you so that you see what is actually inside. 
All right, very nice. And for this purpose, I have also this GoPro camera with me here. I'm not sure how much you can now see with this GoPro, but it's not that bad, yeah, not that bad. So once again here, but that that was it, <laughs> really. And now also here, so I will just show you very slowly. Also from the other side, look at it. So what I really like, uh, that the wheels are actually connected to the steering wheel. Yeah, there is something, something I think broken because the noise it's producing, it's ah, incredible. I don't know what it is actually. Okay, so as you can see, I think here uh, those seats, it's an um, imitation of leather. It's automatic transmissions, this D DGS transmission. And inside, yeah, it's quite a nice copy of what I have. And maybe really later, when I review my real car one day, maybe 2021, 2022, I have plenty of time next year because I don't have money to buy more models, so I will review what I already have. Uh, so now you really see that's a great model and it needs some adjustments, really. What I like here in the back also is heating, so you see all the small stripes here. That's quite nice. Good, so overall I think this is a nice replica, but there are some things which are making it really terrible. Because you see immediately, immediately that here the gap is too big, too wide. It's the same issue on the other side. So it's not just, you know, issue of one side. It's just, I don't know, there is no quality control or how could this happen? And let me also show you my Mercedes-Benz GLS. As you know, uh, I'm always comparing uh, all my SUVs to this GLS. The reason is simple. This is one of the biggest SUVs I could get. And this Kodiak is mid-size SUV, okay? So also to show you a little bit to compare the size, <laughs> yeah, it's... It's a huge difference actually. So maybe to show it to you like this. Yeah, and from the top, you really see the difference. And also in the front, yeah. So this is also quite lightweight in compared to this one. Wow, it's such a difference, yeah. So this is really the Mercedes-Benz flagship, the most luxurious SUV available from Mercedes-Benz and here the Kodiak, the biggest SUV produced by Skoda and yeah, they are both quite nice and you know, in real life I cannot really afford this luxurious one. Yeah? Even this one, it's quite expensive, uh, but maybe it's half price if you compare it to this one, to this Mercedes-Benz. <laughs> yeah, maybe one third of the price. Okay, so now you really see the difference, but I'm quite happy to have this one and I must say I like it. Yeah, already I like it and I will definitely keep it forever. Hopefully I just need to do some small adjustments here and there to make it more beautiful, more custom and, you know, to fit in my collection. And maybe one day I will also compare it to this Skoda uh, superb that I have and I have not really reviewed I have only shot a video about unboxing and showing to you but not really without any comments so that's also something for future so that you know what are really the plans for this channel 
So do not forget to subscribe you if you haven't done so yet. And that's it for today. So thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Oh, by the way, now the final rating for this Skoda Kodiak right now. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.